with a beautiful uh, selection, wonderful, beautiful selection this morning. He's as close as the mention of his name, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hey, this morning, just before you uh, prayer time, I just, I'd like to just take the opportunity. Um, earlier in the summer, I came back August 1st, but I was away for an extended extended period. And I know that while I was away, there was uh, some difficulty and uh, uh, there was some distress. And I'd just like to take the opportunity this morning to say, uh, from my part, uh, that whatever I did that may have caused some difficulty or distress, I apologize for that. And where I stand this morning is as the United Methodist pastor has been appointed, appointed to this church for another year, I stand as one who, there's a verse of scripture that just jumped out at me this morning. It's from the book of Job. It's in chapter 42. I don't have to look it up. It says this. God says this. Job says this to God. I know you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. And I pray that in this church that I may be God's man um, and a man among many men and women who want to do God's will to deal with anything that needs to be dealt with. My door is open and, uh, and to seek the Lord's help as well as the help of one another to, to move forward in Him. And again, on my part, there's a verse of scripture, we all fall short of the glory of God. Amen. And uh, I can testify to that. And, uh, and, and by the way, the, the topic of the sermon today is forgiveness. It's the lectionary reading today. In, there's a three year cycle in the scripture. If I'm not on a series, I generally stay in the lectionary. And it's, it's gospel reading, a, a, le a letter from St. Paul, a psalm, and then a reading from the Old Testament. And uh, the gospel reading this morning is, is, is what is going, to be, is going to be preached later. And I believe that's, that's God's idea. But I, I just want to say, uh, may the Lord help us. Um, and, uh, and may we be a help to one another. Amen. So let's, may we come before the Lord in an attitude. God, your word says, from the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. In the battles 
May there be breakthroughs, Lord. Whether they be of body, of mind, of spirit, or of relationship. Whatever they are, help us, Jesus. Lord, dependence upon you is power. Dependence upon you, Lord, is power. As we depend upon you. St. Paul said your power is made perfect in weakness. Lord your word says a broken and contrite heart you will not despise. We love you Jesus. Your word says to search us and know our anxious thoughts. To see if there be any wicked way in us. And to lead us in the way everlasting. Lord, you have, may you have each of our blessing to take from us, from our hearts, anything that needs to be taken out. We ask this in your name. <coughs> Lord, there is a major crisis going on in our world right now. And we're calling it ISIS, Lord. And Lord, we need your help with this. Make a way, Lord, and guide us in, 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 in what our country should do. And even more important than what our country should do in the swamp of life, <coughs> Lord, we pray that you make a way for the church of Jesus Christ, whatever its label or denomination whether it be United Methodist or Episcopal or Baptist or Catholic or, or, or Presbyterian or Pentecostal or, or Independent. Lord, may this church be a part of the move of the Spirit. May it ride the wave of your Spirit. May we be a part of what you are doing. We ask this in your name. We pray for our president. We pray for our governor. We pray for our Senate. We pray for our Congress. We pray for those who answer the call when 911 is dialed. We pray in your name. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans for your welfare, not for harm. To give you a future with hope. You said that to Israel in a time of great crisis, that you still had a plan for them. And we believe, Lord, that you have a plan for us. Bless our hearts, bless our homes, that they may be havens of blessing and places of peace. And bless the church of Jesus Christ and this outpost of your church at 2492 Andover Road in Route 130. We love you. Bless our young people. Bless our elderly. May, may our young people dream dreams. May our older people have visions. For this is what your scripture says, Jesus. We love you. We ask you for forgiveness of our sins, a canceling of the debt, and new life which you have bought for us on the cross. power, and you give us power by your resurrection. So may the same power that raised Jesus from the dead be at work in our lives. We ask this in your name. May light win over darkness. We ask this in your name, Jesus. For all the names on these prayer cards, I forgot to announce that this morning, Lord. For the ones that are on them now, and for the ones that are yet to be on and written down shortly, we pray add a blessing, bring a happy issue out of every affliction, and do for us and for the names we write down, for the people, better things that we can desire or pray for. We pray for all who need a special touch that they may be touched and changed and a part of the kingdom of God.
pray for our troops. We pray that you would bring them safely home. We pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for the many situations in the Middle East. And we pray for your justice and your mercy especially. You have taught us, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. You do have prayer cards in your pews if you have a special request. Do take time to fill them out. Our, any of our ushers will, will, will bring them forward. They'll be prayed over Tuesday in our prayer meeting. Amen. Tuesday